Yo, what up YouTube, what up boxing fans? Interesting news is Aram has apparently revealed that the Rios versus Alvarado winner might be in line for much bigger fights. And, uh, you know, he was actually found inside the Fortune Gym in Hollywood, uh, you know, in anticipation for the doubleheader where Donaire will face Nishioka. And we have the great undercard fight of Brandon Rios versus Mike Alvarado. And it appears that Aram admits that he could see a scenario where the winner of Rios Alvarado just might get a showdown with either Manny Pacquiao if he loses or Juan Manuel Marquez. I'm guessing it would be the loser of Pacquiao versus Marquez. And he would set them up with the winner of Rios versus Alvarado. That does make sense uh, in terms of that kind of matchup. I think Marquez can beat the hell out of both of these guys just with superior counterpunching. But in terms of this fight, this has the makings for fight of the year. It's going to be a great fight. Like, And who knows how long it's going to last for. This really has the buzz that James Kirkland versus uh, Alfred Angulo had. Uh, going into their fight, which was in Mexico, um, you know, expect a war in this fight, and it, I would be very surprised to see Manny Pacquiao fight either of these guys, although uh, Bob Arum did want to match up Rios with Pacquiao, uh, I, I do remember him mentioning that uh, many months ago, so, um, you know, it looks like there's going to be big Im implications for uh, the winner of this fight, and personally, I think Rios might be in over his head uh, fighting a guy like Mike Alvarado, who seems to be a lot bigger and, you know, throws great uppercuts, but Rios might be able to do it, you know, he's used to fighting wars, this is exactly the kind of fight he wants, you know, both of these guys have a great shot at a knockout. So, Rios actually insisted on this fight. So, we'll see if he comes through and uh, shows his worth. For now, take care. Peace out.